how do we keep that ball down into the wind, not rearing up into the wind? Again, it comes down to the spin on the golf ball. We've got to take the spin off it so it doesn't rise up into that uh, wind and not go anywhere. Again, for me, creating spin is kind of full power going at it, creating the downward hit, which puts the backspin on it, which rises it up. So we want to take that out a little bit. For me, when I'm hitting little knockdown shots again, I, need, I want to narrow the stance down. And there's a common phrase, like when it's breezy, swing easy. There's no more kind of important thing like that. So you club up. You club up for the distance you've got so you can swing that club easy and take the spin down off it because that's the bit that's going to keep it down. So when I'm thinking about hitting a, a knockdown shot to keep the wind out of it and keep it low, I'm narrowing the stance down so I kind of don't have as much movement going on and weight transference. I can stay more centered and that's what I'm trying to do, stay more centered and just kind of hit it with the upper body and kind of passive hands. So I keep that control through it, keep the ball down and keep the club D lofted. So when I'm playing the shot now, all I'm thinking is I'm not doing a lot of movement. I'm keeping the body rotating and I'm keeping that loft working on the club. So we play the shot now, you won't see a lot of movement and I'll just kind of knock that club down. And there's the shot going in really low now under the, under the wind. Oh, don't go in. <laughs> just come past the flag. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.